Hi everyone. In the last video, we installed the actual color simulator on our, in, the, in my case, Windows PC. So today we're going to talk about the next step, how we get Python through which we can actually interact with the simulator. So if I close it, um, this is my short list of things that you need to go through. For those of you who do not have Python themselves, usual recommendation from many people is to go to this website and download Anaconda's distribution of Python. And uh, once you go through all the steps and you can actually go to separate videos, uh, there is plenty of videos on YouTube how to install it. You then um, can do this. You can go into Anaconda and you can launch this thing called Anaconda Prompt. So everything that we'll do now can be done through this Anaconda Prompt window. Okay. Uh, the other thing we need to have a look at um, uh, folders where Kala is. So remember we've downloaded um, Kala uh, zip file and unzipped it here on our local C drive. And if I go in, there is an interesting, there is a folder of particular interest uh, for this for this video, which is Python API. If you go in, within that folder, there is a directory called examples, and you you can see some examples uh, of various things. Um, for example, this is generate traffic that we'll use later and many other things. Where I'm getting to is additional things that are used by um, Python is essentially the libraries that you need to install. Like if you scroll here, uh, scroll here, you can see all the imports like Kala is being used and then NumPy. So that's how I prepare this list of what needs to be installed. But first thing, we need to create a virtual environment. So after we launch Anaconda prompt, we, we can do a couple of things. First of all, I would like to get out of this folder and go into Kala itself. And as you can see, the tab prompt, uh, because I've got 13, I don't need that. I'm going to 14 and then I go into Python. API subfolder, and then later I need to go to examples. And the reason I do that is after I've done these installations, I want to test a couple of those scripts that you've seen before and see if they work. Um, and that's effectively a test for you if you've installed enough Python libraries. Because with installation of Anaconda, you've got Python, um, the next thing we need to do is to create a virtual environment uh, so we could install additional libraries. So this particular environment doesn't interfere with any, with any other Python work that you might be doing. So the idea here, anything you do with Kala, you manage it in a separate environment. So every time you come to um, Anaconda like prompt, your first thing you do, you activate that environment. Anyway. Let's go and create this environment first. So we just copy this thing here. Don't see. Don't be. And the key point here is you need to get this environment after version under version 3.7 of Python. And that's um, what works with the color simulator. Um, you can then te test if the later versions of Python work, but um, you know, it's one of these shortcuts that some people recommend uh, to get Python working with Anaconda. 3.7 always works. So we run this. We hit yes. If it asks, are you sure? and it's done. 
So now we, we need to activate that environment. And the way we do it is we type activate uh, sim. And you need to see this um, color sim in brackets before your <laughs> current folder. That's how you know that currently that environment is active. And now we're ready to install additional libraries. Well, first of all, the main thing we need is um, pip in Scala itself. So, uh, if I can type pip install Scala, that's done. Then. And your installation may go um, longer because um, it's used some cached installation from my computer. So yours can actually take a bit longer time. So don't be surprised. The next one we do is we install Pygame. And Pygame is used in a lot of examples. Um, in those example scripts that you saw in uh, examples folder. So that's why we need it game however sometimes it comes under uh, color itself so as you can see it's already there next thing we need to do is pip install numpy numpy is a matrix manipulation environment that used uh, in some examples as well so we need that so that's done the next thing we need to do is jupiter Jupyter will allow you to use in Jupyter notebooks or work with color environment interactively. And that's very cool because it, allow, it allows you to do things step by step, one thing at a time that we will be using a lot in the introductions, like to show you the little sort of um, activities that you send to the simulator, for example, start new car reload new town stuff like that so it's very easy to sort of see um, this step-by-step -step interaction with the simulator as opposed to run the whole script and um, uh, not really see what you've got going on like uh, the jupyter notebook way also allows you easy debugging because you have access to all the variables that you created created or all connections to the simulator and so on so we've done Jupyter, and the last thing we need to do is need pip install OpenCV Python. And that is a library that allows you to do with images. It um, When you go into visual, computer vision type of um, manipulation, so ideas with Python, it allows you to do multiple things, uh, including reading um, images from a video, creating or plain images and stuff like that. All right, so we've done the all installations. Now we need to try some examples. The first thing we need to attempt, and of course, before you run anything, you need to start the simulator itself. So while we're waiting, for it to start, first thing we'll try to do is to generate some traffic. And for that, you basically do Python and then the name of a script. In that case, is generate traffic. And you hit enter. And you can see how it tells you that it started 29 vehicles and eight walkers. And what we can do now is to see them driving around which is very cool wow so we've got some cyclists we've got motorcyclists without helmets wow that's interesting and then some cars of various models and various brands um, interesting the motorcyclists never seem to wear helmets 
Um, po, 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 po. There is a l this guy is very popular for some reason, which is cool. The combi van. And then look, there is a Mustang. What's this? There is some some boring car. There are some fire trucks, uh, trucks, ambulances, buses, fire trucks. Yep. You get my idea. And then what you can do in the command prompt is you can see how it allows you to do control C to stop everything. And when this particular, the way this particular script was implemented that at the end, it cleans everything out. And cleaning out the simulator is actually quite a good idea because if you want to reuse it for something else, you need to um, make it less busy with all the other stuff that is going on. So if you try to generate more traffic separately, obviously the simulator will get busy and busy. Okay, um, that is all the Python configuration that we needed to do. Um, thanks for watching. The next thing we'll um, do in the next videos, we'll go into how to start a car and how to mount camera on it and that kind of stuff. Thanks for your time and I'll see you later.